Australians are an inventive bunch with a long and proud history of ideas that have been lifesavers and life changers around the world. From the hill's hoist to the bionic ear, Aussies have been leading the way. So what has the new generation of smart thinkers come up with? Sally Obermeter finds out. Ned Kelly's necessity was the mother of his invention. Not that his protective workwear helped that much, but other Australians have fared much better with their bright ideas. The Hills Hoist and the two-stroke mower are Aussie inventions. So is the electric drill, the combine harvester, the ute. The first fridge was made here. Aussies came up with the electronic pacemaker and the bionic ear. And millions of lives have been saved by the invention of penicillin. And it's not about to end there. You'd be surprised what you can invent if you put your mind to it. Here's what our clever inventors have been putting their brilliant minds to. Take the weirdest ideas and go from there. Offbeat ideas can turn into bestsellers. Most people often have great ideas, countless great ideas, but they often think that it's too hard. So it's, um, it's truly worth getting onto it and pursuing it. Bryce Colleen pursued the building of a better speed hump. Basically the speed bump has a number of cells inside the main body. Uh, each cell is filled with a non-Newtonian fluid, which basically means that uh, it's, it's pressure reactive. So if you hit it softly, uh, it just stays quite liquid, but if it has sort of a firm impact, uh, it becomes hard. The James Dyson Awards celebrate young designers who take that initial aha moment and create something that can make a difference. Talk me through how this works. Alright, so the heart is placed inside the unit. The freshly removed heart from the, from the donor is placed in, inside here and it's connected to the unit. Mm -hmm. uh, blood flows from this rev reservoir through, through the entire system uh, and keeps the heart in, a, in its normal beating state. Okay, so you've replicated kind of what happens in the body. That's right, yes. The horror of Black Saturday got Liam Ferguson thinking. The result? Small, mobile, tactile firefighting vehicles, which carry nearly four times the amount of water of those currently in use. It has the capability, off-road capabilities, in regards to ground clearance, approach and departure angles and turning circle. It's also got an increased water capacity, which means it can initiate a suppression effort before the larger tankers arrive on site. Also with a focus on saving lives is Sam Adelijo's design. What Long Reach is for is it's uh, basically designed to propel a life jacket to a victim up to 150 metres away and, and by doing that it's meant to sort of cut in half the, the time that it would take to provide rescue to a victim. The actual device, the thing that sort of hits the water is actually pretty complex by itself because it doesn't use um, existing methods of water activated inflation. Um, what it is is basically a, um, a chemical um, like um, gap filler that when it comes in contact with water expands 40 times its size in 15 seconds um, and that's how it provides its buoyancy. Buoyancy of a different kind for Thomas Hussey. I think this will definitely help make beer cheaper. It's definitely one of the reasons why I chose to do this, yes. Thomas's idea was a reworking of that other great Aussie invention, the wine cask. So Tom, your idea is to put these 12 bottles of beer into this cask? Yes. The basic principle behind the design is that it collapses as you dispense, so yep. as you push the beer out, right. and when you're doing that, the bag inside is getting smaller. Yep. You can transport up to 70% more beer on a pallet, um, so that's a huge saving for costs and also for the environment due to fuel. For anyone who thinks you need a PhD to create a good idea, these designers will tell you otherwise. If you don't have imagination, there's no new designs. If people do have ideas, it's, it's really important that they do pursue them. Once you go through the, the, the difficult stages and you come out the other end, it's, uh, it's always a, a, a great result. They really are the amazing Aussies, aren't they? You'll find more info on those inventions on our website, yahoo7.com.au slash today tonight.